Evan Holyfield, the son of Evander Holyfield, versus Jermaine McDonald. Who do y'all think is going to win this fight? Before I get more into the video, I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe for more boxing and please hit that like button. It helps out the video. It helps out the channel. I'd really appreciate it. So six rounds in the junior middleweight division to take place this coming weekend, this Saturday on the 14th of May, May 14, 2022, in the undercard of the Sergey Kovalev versus Tervel Pulev fight, which will be taking place over at the Kia Forum in uh, Inglewood, California, USA, to be shown live on Fight TV. Trulliverse. So, um, yeah, if you want to see this event, just go to fight.tv. Uh, which is right here, what we're looking at. They're promoting it in the uh, homepage. Or you can scroll down to the upcoming events and click on the Pulev versus Kovalev event. And uh, you can watch this event. The whole fights, Vargas brothers fighting in the card. The Pulev brothers will be fighting the card. Kurt Kovalev will be fighting the card. Uh, the whole event will cost you uh, $30 for the whole thing. Or you can buy Trilliverse, uh, which will cost you $2.99 a month or $29.99 a month. $29.99 for the whole year so those are your options if you want to see it so Evan Holyfield uh, this will be his 10th professional fight currently uh, undefeated 9-0 6 wins coming by way of knockout TKO uh, like I said he is the son of Evander Holyfield and uh, you know here he is um, trying to make a name for himself as well going in there in his 10th pro fight against Jermaine McDonald a 32 uh, year old fighter from Jefferson City Missouri USA, 6 wins, 5 losses, 2 wins coming by way of knockout or TKO. He's coming off a unanimous decision win against Richard Smith. Prior to that, he got knocked out by Jalen uh, Reynaud. And um, yeah, I'm going to be honest, I, I don't know who he's fought. But there is footage of him uh, on the internet. I, I just recently watched some footage of him on Facebook. And based on what I've seen of him, you know, he has a good 1-2 early on. Like a good jab straight. Uh, but... As the fight goes on, he he gets he tends to get a little wild. I think mainly due to his stamina and his uh, um, you know him gassing out and tiring out. So he gets a little wild towards the you know after few, first few rounds, he gets a little wild. Uh, so I see Holyfield, you know, breaking him apart, boxing him early on, and eventually stopping him after three rounds. So I say TKO. Knockout round number four. Uh, Holyfield is going to be too accurate, too skilled, too fast, too to everything good compared to McDonald. Uh, yeah, uh, you know Holyfield is actually very. I, I would say Holyfield's underrated. I feel like he's not getting that much attention. Um, I feel like he deserves more attention. You know, I think he deserves more attention than Nico Ali Walsh. I'm going to be honest. Uh, Nico Ali Walsh. You know, Nico Ali Walsh has been showing improvement, but you know, I. I'd like to see Evan Holyfield get promoted the same way um, where he's getting more recognition because he definitely has potential, Evan Holyfield, at least from what I've seen so, f of, so far of him. Um, definitely more potential than uh, than Ricky Hatton's son, Campbell Hatton. I'll say that much. Um, but yeah, uh, should be should be a win for Evan Holyfield. TKO round number four, in my opinion. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And like always, have a great day. All right, thanks.